Hey up everybody. Okay then I'm going to move on to the next part of me uh, sweet pea and the cylinders that I'm uh, machining up. I've made these from solid. In the last part I bored them out to size in the correct position etc. So in this part then I'm going to continue and put this radius on to make it look more like a casting. And then uh, there's still quite a lot of work to do in these. There's all the ports to do. There's the compound angle that goes into the bores for the steam ports and then there's all the holes to drill etc for the uh, end covers so yeah there's quite a lot of work to do on these yet so let's move over to Miller then and uh, and I'll continue with these right I've got my scribed line on where my cylinder covers will be I'm not quite sure if you can see it on that one because it's gone a bit faint but here's the other one so this out, outer, outer circle is where the cylinder covers will finish up. Uh, this piece here is the waste material where the radius is going to come. Uh, just like I did on my meter made, I'm going to be doing it that method. So that's me. That's the side that bolts to the frame. That's the side where the ports are in the top, where the valve chest is and then the radius coming round here to make it look like the casting so I'm just going to do this the same method I did my meter made when I made that if you want to take a look back at that uh, you know if I don't if I miss any detail out in this one it'll all be in my meter made video anyway so uh, I'm just going to I'm calling this a plug gauge I'm just going to rotate this cylinder on this plug gauge till I've machined that uh, radius on in a number of steps. So depending on how many steps you do it, it'll depend on how good the radius is.
Well that's the uh, blocks machined up to the same profile as the castings. Um, I think I'll call it that a day for this video because it's going to you know it's going to get too long I think because there's quite a lot of work still to do on these. Uh, what I've got to do next is machine the ports in for, for where the valve slides and then once they're in I can machine the compound angled passageways for the steam to the ports from the edge of the bores of the cylinder up to the ports. Uh, I've also got to put the exhaust port in and then once all that's done I've got to machine some covers up um, to get the positions for the holes to fasten the covers on both ends uh, so I can find my hole centres etc. So uh, I'll do that. I'll carry on with that next time then. So if you found that useful, uh, informative, interesting, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And uh, I'll catch you on next part to this then. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.